What's going on Guardians, your boy Sly here and welcome back to another Quick Destiny video. Alright, so I just uploaded my review of the Cosmodrome Winter Tool reveal and I noticed a few things that I originally wanted to point out in the review video, but since it was pushing like 10 minutes long, I decided to make another video on it instead. Alright, so as we all know, the reveal itself, while a nice change of pace and cool to look at, wasn't a mind-blowing hype fest of sci-fi greatness. The climax of the reveal was the trailer at the beginning of the stream, which is what you're seeing right here, the Gallerwing Sparrow. While it is a sexy beast, especially in black and silver, it wasn't the first time we've seen it. People were so focused on the Sparrow itself that they actually missed some of the crucial details. Now, I sifted through the original stream and didn't see much of interest. However, if you take your time to watch this trailer, you'll see like three or four things in about four seconds of footage that delivers on what I think is what everyone really wanted to see yesterday, and that was some new exotics. Of course, this isn't confirmed yet, but you will see why I think this right here. All right, so here's the clip. Take a look. And watch it again. Did you guys see it? All right, right here, check out that helmet, guys. Now, at first, it doesn't look like anything special, but when you look at this still image, you can definitely tell that those are downward horns on the sides of the helmet, just like those sinister-looking Viking helmets that have those, you know, like, creepy skull faces on it. Now, to me, personally, I don't think this helmet is an exotic. I believe it's part of the Iron Lord armor setup. It's just that the Titans now have the best helmet in the game, once again. <laughs> but more so than the helmet, take a look what's on his back. This is the exotic I'm talking about. Now, it's a little hard to see, but this is a very ornate and very detailed auto rifle. It has the sight that kind of looks like it belongs with the weapon itself, and then it's also not interchangeable. It has a wooden stock and maybe some kind of like camo netting or pattern down the sides of it. Like I said, it's kind of hard to tell because it's dark on the Titan's back. But let's get to the best view. You can see it right here on the Warlock's back, clear as day, in the next few frames when he cheers the Sparrow zipping by. Boom. Take a look at that beauty, guys. If that's not an exotic, then they are going all out on the weapons for the next expansion. We all know when a weapon is exotic, and this just screams it. The detail and that Suros-like metal tubing on the side of it. Another exotic auto rifle is definitely a welcome sight. Let's just hope that it's better than the Titan's gunsmith mistake. <laughs> so the next one is super hard to see, and it's in the same frame as the first two of this auto rifle. It's on the Warlock's back, and it's very hard to see when they're bowing down. Now, it's either a fusion rifle with some new kind of stock, or it's something else, but to me, it looks like another auto rifle of some sort, maybe even a pulse rifle. You can see what a long clip it has in the front and kind of red streaks on it. Maybe it's like a SIVA raid weapon. Now, it doesn't look as detailed as the AR next to it, so that's my guess on the second weapon. It's either some kind of new fusion rifle or a raid rifle of some sort. But uh, what do you guys think? Anything else that I missed that you picked up on? I'm pretty sure that was all there was to look at. But let me know in the comments below. I'm excited for any new exotic that makes its way in. And if the Titan helmet has the promise that I think it has, it's going to be another helmet race come day one, Rise of Iron. But that's it, guys. As always, thank you for watching and sound off on what your thoughts are. Or if you see anything else that could be a hint at what's to come. As always, thanks for watching and for supporting the smaller YouTuber. If you want to stay up to date on everything, Destiny, Rise of Iron, or The Division, follow me on Twitter at SlyNation. That's the best place to get in touch and stay in the know when new uploads come out. Alright guys, well I'm out. Have a great remainder of the week, and until next time guys, this is your boy Sly. Done. Gone. Out. Zone B secure.